if one thinks only on the carnivore diet, it would be that you don't need supplements on the diet. Not only that, a lot of nutrient-dense foods like pastured egg yolks, wild-caught fish, raw grass-fed dairy, liver, fish eggs, all of these super nutrient-dense foods are commonly used in supplemental ways in a lot of people's diets. They say, okay, I'm going to eat this much liver every day, this much fish oil every day to get my vitamin A, to get my DHA. To me, if there's a diet where the literal foods that you're eating can be used as supplements, there's no question about what diet you should be following. Now, yeah, there's a big difference between doing those foods in supplemental ways and the supplements that I'm going to refer to in this video. And what I just want to preface with this is that I always recommend consuming whole foods over supplements. And if you look at a pill and you look at a food and you're thinking, okay, well, how much of that food do I have to eat to get nutrition and can you actually put that in a pill form? In the case of something like desiccated liver pills or beef collagen, the way I look at it is even if you concentrated that beef liver as much as you possibly could, you're still not getting a lot, it's even compared to one bite of actual liver. So there are some pills that in my opinion are completely like pointless and you literally have to take like half a bottle of them to get a serving worth of liver. And there are definitely better options such as, you know, cod liver oil instead of desiccated beef liver pills. But uh, before we get into that, uh, my grandma would always tell me stories about how her mother would put some cod liver oil down her throat and then she'd like have an orange and some coffee with an egg mixed in and like her dad used to drink vermouth with an egg mixed in and like all these old school stories of how they used to get their nutrition in the form of animal foods almost every day in ways that we've kind of shied away from now. And cod liver oil is something that almost everyone knows about. But there was a lot of controversy around it uh, if you look into it between you know the Weston Price Foundation, Green Pasture, uh, Dr. Ron Schmidt blames his heart attack on taking fermented cod liver oil in large amounts over dozens of years. And it seems that consuming large amounts of oxidized polyunsaturated fats is very detrimental to your health. And apparently, yeah, that's what he did. He consumed this rancid fish oil for years, suffered a heart attack, and although consuming cod liver oil if you're deficient in those vitamins is better for you than not consuming it, even if it's rancid, once you have the vitamins in your body, you wanna make sure the source of fish oil, cod liver oil, whatever you're taking, is fine and this relays back to what I said earlier. Always go for whole food sources and in this case it's because of the rancidity potential of fish oils, cod liver oils, and this risk is always there. The problem with that is cod liver oil is literally one of the healthiest foods you can consume. It has ample amounts of vitamin A, vitamin D3, omega-3 fatty acids, iodine, pretty much any nutrient that most people are missing on a basic muscle meat carnivore diet, but how do we alleviate these issues of oxidation? So the reason I actually did my acne video a couple weeks ago was because I consumed some rancid cod liver oil from Green Pasture and I literally broke out with cystic acne a couple hours later, it was so rancid. It tasted like rotten chocolate and I called them up, I was like, is this chocolate flavored? Why does it taste rancid? And the oil was just putrid. And I had another brand of cod liver oil, which is Rosita. And Rosita cod liver oil was fine. I was taking this fine for a couple weeks. You know, this has per teaspoon, 4,000 IU vitamin A, 400 IU vitamin D, 1,300 of omega-3s. This is an amazing food in general. And I'm actually gonna, I have this bottle left, so I'm gonna start taking this again and using it. And this is something that I would personally use and recommend, Rosita cod liver oil. Uh, and I'll talk about where to get that later, but you know, there are certain brands of cod liver oils that are higher quality than others. And generally, you pay for what you get. I, I do suggest staying away from Green Pasture because their oil was rancid and I don't really trust them. This oil has very little to no flavor to it and it's very mild. I, I can tell that this oil is safe to use in regards to its oxidative properties, but you could always get cod liver oil canned. And guys, I'm not lying. This stuff is delicious. And cod liver in its own juice, a package from Icelandic cod's liver, is an amazing source of all of these nutrients I talked about, and it's very tasty. 
Uh, I can't speak enough positively about this food. Uh, I do have this on my Amazon shop as well, but uh, I'll talk about that again later. So cod liver oil is definitely the best option to get your fat soluble vitamins and all your nutrients. Now, what could we possibly be missing besides cod liver oil? Well, maybe you want a little more vitamin D3. And if you're not consuming pastured eggs or high quality fat, vitamin K2. And these can be obtained in supplemental form. I also have some liquid vitamin D3 here uh, that I use occasionally. This one's much more concentrated. Uh, I rub this on my body and I let it absorb transdermally. I'll link my vitamin D3 video in the comments uh, to show you guys how I do that. And I also have some kelp, some wild Atlantic kombu. And uh, I use this seaweed to replenish my electrolytes. That's what I mainly use this for. And it's also very high in iodine, but I consume so much seafood and so many high quality animal foods that I don't really need iodine from this. And then the only other supplements, and I don't use most of this stuff, by the way, guys, uh, potassium citrate and magnesium glyconate. Uh, I've noticed that sometimes I've had to use magnesium glyconate when I took too much vitamin D3 or too much vitamin A because my magnesium was depleted. But if you guys want to understand collated minerals, there's like 10 different forms of each mineral. There's malate, there's citrate, there's, of course, glyconate, there's taurate, there's literally dozens of different types of collated minerals and each form has a different bioavailability and each form absorbs differently. So if you want to know more about that, I'm going to link my video on electrolytes that I did a couple months ago that will help you understand that concept. But just so you guys know what I actually do take. The kombu, I usually soak it in water every day and I drink the water. I actually have some right here. So I soak the seaweed in water. And I just drink the water to get the minerals, the iodine. The D3, I usually rub on my skin every day. I go for five to 10,000 IU. I just rub it on my stomach. Uh, the magnesium and the potassium, I haven't really taken in a while. Uh, the cod liver or the Rosita cod liver oil, I'll consume with my meal. I usually have a tablespoon or two of this. Uh, but as this is very expensive, I try not to use too much of it. So uh, most of this stuff is on my Amazon shop, guys. Uh, I like the King Oscar cod liver if you guys decide to buy it. Uh, all this D3 stuff is on my Amazon shop. There's a bunch of other cod liver oils on my Amazon shop that are decent. And same with the vitamin K2, same with the D3. All this stuff is on there. And if you guys want to buy Rosita cod liver oil, uh, I have a link in the description to perfectsupplements.com. I actually ended up getting an affiliate with them. Uh, just because I didn't want to advertise this cod liver oil without getting something out of it. So if you guys do decide to try Rosita cod liver oil, this stuff is super expensive. It's like $50 for five ounces. So obviously, you know, it's not something for people on a tight budget. And you probably use one or two of these bottles a month. But in regards to how much you would spend on liver anyway, it's probably worth it. Uh, for the ease of using it. Definitely the highest quality cod liver oil there is on the market and they also sell pill form of it too. So if you guys want to check this out, my affiliate link for Perfect Supplements is in the description and if you guys want to buy any of these other supplements, my link to my Amazon shop is in the description. I figured this would be perfect to do before Black Friday as a lot of you guys have been asking me where to get this stuff and listen, by all means guys, do not buy this stuff if you have access to Whole Foods. The reason I'm showing you guys these foods and the reason I'm advertising my affiliate links is because if you guys are going to go out and buy stuff, I'd rather get something for it and I'd rather have you guys buy the highest quality products you have access to. Now, if you're like, Frank, is this raw cod liver oil better than the cod liver in the can? There's pros and cons to both. Uh, the canned stuff might have some concerns about the lining of the can. You know, this might have slight oxidation problems. Who really knows, you know? The vitamin K2, it's from soy, so, you know, who knows about that? The vitamin D3, you're not getting sun. There's, there's pros and cons to everything, but I'm just letting you guys know what I do. And the main two points in this video were to stay away from oxidized fish oil and to always be aware of what the original form of the food is and would it make sense to consume it in a capsulized. I mean, I could go into, I'm not gonna touch on digestive enzymes in this video, such as lipase for digesting fat, and you have beta E and HCL for increasing stomach acidity, you have the protease and the other starch digesting enzymes in the stomach, uh, pepsin to digest protein. 
Uh, but that might be a different topic. Let me know if you guys would like me to discuss that as well. Uh, if you guys want to check out those products though, they are on my Amazon shop as well in the supplement section.